Small business owners are actually paranoid. Jim Jim, why are you the one solving this problem? Who are you? When you call a hospital or when you call, you know, a business, they say that your call may be recorded for quality or training purposes. So you're also able to separate out your personal and professional calls. I want to understand your use of generative AI. I call here as a smart number. I have not kind of sold it as a software. Rather than even sending a WhatsApp or sending an email, you are more prone to just being like, oh yeah, let me give you this person's number, just give him a call. Um, UK, US, boom, ke, India, I realized this thing in the truth. We are imperfect, we are jugaadu insan, hai, but we are a decade. Hai. Why are Indians afraid of emails or text messages is because stuff is being recorded and it is official. But yes, you know, India has a lot of informal economy exists. So when you do any product here, it's very difficult to build a linear product, I believe, in India. Be it on the street, be it on the road, be it on the phone, we don't have a concept of personal space. <laughs> I want to make a startup which is made for India. And it gets pretty irritating by the way. Hi, I am Rim Jim. Thanks Vishwotha Akhil for having me on this show. Uh, so what I am solving right now is a very interesting problem to solve and it's a problem that we should be, you know, I am at least very passionate about and I think you know, more and more people should be caring about it because of the kind of the fears that, you know, a country like India is in right now. Uh, so we are, of course, one of the fastest growing economies. And if you look at it, you know, our economy is not just driven by the companies that are you know, up there on a BSE or an NSE or the AD calls that, you know, make up Bangalore or Gurgaon. Our economy on a day-to-day -day basis, our economy at a mammoth scale is driven by 10, 10 road plus small and micro businesses, you know, the Businesses that we see around us, your local, local salons, your local tour operators, small offices, etc. They are live blood in India. Ki. They, are like, they are literally a live blood. And not just that, I think another reason we should care for local businesses is despite the onslaught of technology, despite the onslaught of big, large corporations, the, you know, the Walmarts of the world, these businesses are still hanging on. They are putting food on the table for their family. They are basically also taking the economy forward. But A, you know, there's lack of technology. So I just said, you know, they're still kind of doing it despite the lack of tech. And there's a there's a problem that we are solving. Um, obviously, small businesses have no budget nahi hota hai ki, you know, like Amazon ke level pay or like, like Walmart ke level pay, you know, customer experience day. Do they want to offer it? Do they do? And that is where, you know, we brought in something. We brought in, you know, the startup that I've now found, co-founded, Heo Phone. Um, so... Kind of, try and kind of make it simple. It is always difficult explaining a tech startup, but let me try and make it as simple as possible. At the end of the day, Heyo is a very simple product. So the customer experience, you know, which larger businesses deliver at a very consistent scale is very broken for a small business. Unke paas hai, imagine a typical small business owner. He probably is handling calls or delivery customer service right on his mobile. Unke paas hai, do tis staff hai, you know, like think of your local hardware store. उनके पास अपने इंडिविजुअल मोबाइल नंबर्स होते हैं कॉल कभी ओनर के पास आता है कभी स्टाफ के पास जाता है ओनर के कोई विजिबिलिटी नहीं है यू नो कितने कस्टमर्स ने कब कॉल किया इट डजंट हैव अ सेंट्रल डेटाबेस इज प्रोबब्ली ट्राइंग टू मेंटेन इट ऑल इन अ यू नो मे बी अ रिटन डाउन कॉपी समवेयर इट्स ऑल ओवर द प्लेस वी हैव ट्राइड टू काइंड ऑफ सिंपलीफाई एंड यूनिफाई दिस कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस बाय गिविंग हिम अ यू नो अ स्मार्ट कम्युनिकेशन ऐप दैट वर्क्स एज सिंपली ऑन योर एंड्राइड फोन आपके पास लोअर एंड्राइड हो तो भी चलेगा बस स्मार्टफोन होना चाहिए the owner can download this app, he activates a smart number which unifies all his communications. So all customer calls and WhatsApp gets routed through a central number. He builds up a database, he runs campaigns on it. Uske koi data loss nahi hota hai, uske koi customer interaction loss nahi hota hai. At the end of the day, his revenue grows because obviously customers getting a better experience. He having access to the customer data, is able to kind of grow his business consistently. It's very simple to use, completely app-driven, so it's not a very complicated software to learn. Multiple languages are delivered, so that means, you know, it doesn't matter that he has to know very good English. So this is how I think Heo4 is solving a very, very, very kind of uh, strong jo, jo technology, the chasm, the technology ka jo gap hai between the larger businesses and the larger startups and the jo, jo local businesses. This technology is divided, we want to bridge karna chahte. But we think that when 10 crore businesses, na, are able to compete with larger businesses or tech tech savvy startups, then India's economic growth is also very, you know, 
फाइव एक्स टेन एक्स और रेट से रेट कर ग्रो अप एंड फॉर अ बिज और फॉर अ कंट्री टू रियली रियली प्रॉस्पर लोकल बिजनेस स्मॉल बिजनेस इकोनॉमी रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दैट इज वॉट विल पुट फूड ऑन ईच टेबल दैट इज वॉट विल पुट प्रॉस्परिटी इन एवरी होम एंड दैट्स आई थिंक एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दैट्स द वेशन वी आर वॉकिंग टूवर्ड्स सो लंबा आंसर दिया मैंने बट इन अगेन एज आई सेट इट वॉज द प्रॉब्लम दैट नीड्स टू बी सॉल्व एंड नीड्स टू बी टॉक्ट अबाउट सो वॉट आई अंडरस्टूड इज दैट यूर ऑफरिंग एन ऐप द ऐप ऑफर्स अ फोन नंबर इफ सम वन that phone number belongs to a corporation whoever buys your product and if someone calls that phone number your app decides optimally who the call should go to you can connect multiple people to the same phone number and the app will redirect it to the right person at the right time is that about correct yes outside that the app will also collect all the data from these calls and note down this data in a text format or in other data formats so that you can have a track of what was said on the call with whom and you can go from there to start the data analysis that only big corporations right now have access to so is that i am i in the right space yeah more or less yes yes yeah it basically builds up the database on you know which which typically a small business doesn't have access to he basically gets control over his customer database और उसको लेकर वो आगे जा सके यू नो इधर कैंपेन और ई एंगेजमेंट यू कैन डू ऑल ऑफ दैट जो रैंडम फोन आते हैं दिस ऑल्सो सॉर्ट ऑफ हेल्प डिसाइफर दोज इन टू हु इज एन एक्चुअल कस्टमर एंड हु इज अ यू नो स्पैम फोन कॉल बिकॉज दिस इज देन कनेक्टिंग यू टू लाइक यू नो पीपल ओनली हु आर बी लुकिंग फॉर योर प्रोडक्ट अगर कॉल दिस बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट अ पर्सनल नंबर दिस इज अ कंपनी नंबर एग्जैक्टली सो यू ऑल्सो एबल टू सेपरेट आउट योर पर्सनल एंड प्रोफेशनल कॉल्स uh meaning that you are able to build like you said you are able to kind of manage your professional con- contacts separately mix nahi ho raha hai so that means you know i as a business owner i have much more clarity on who are my customers and who are not you know otherwise they would have probably been all mixed up on my my own you know my phone phone contacts with they all got mixed up so yes it does all that problem also yeah i i think it's a lovely product because this is the requirement especially in india so when i worked in the us a lot of the communication was done over email and over email you would decide okay let's get on a quick call and then you would bounce on the call but in india i have seen that so much just happens over the phone people are continuously either on their phones or it's happening via whatsapp so the whole email database that crms drive is something that is kind of moot when it comes to like indian small businesses right and when i saw so much happening over phone call i was always confused as to how do they maintain their crms because that is so difficult you can't keep typing in all of your phone conversations or going through each like audio recording every time you want to see what did i talk to this person about so i think it's a phenomenal problem to solve in india we we have this system you know rather than even sending a whatsapp or sending an email you are more prone to just being like Oh yeah, let me give you this na- person's number. Just give him a call. This giving him a call thing is a very, very common behavior trait in India, and I've seen it only in India. Everywhere else in the world, this whole thing of calling, calling is a very big deal elsewhere. Yaha ham calling baat bade deal se nahi lete. Like you know, we in India take calls as a very normal thing, and this is like the rest of the world takes calls as a Oh my god this person has called me. Yeah. In India it's the opposite. If someone's emailed you in India that is like acha ye email aaya hai okay let's look at it. Whereas uh, outside of India it is whatever I've seen emails are the more normal thing that you know you're you're getting mass email or you're getting people are emailing you continuously. Yahan call pe call aate rehte. I think for especially agar aap local businesses ke angle se socho na uh agar ये लोकल बिजनेस है इसके साथ ना हम ना ज़्यादातर इधर कॉल और व्हाट्सएप से इंटरेक्ट करते हैं वी डोंट गो टू दर वेबसाइट इफ आई टू गो टू बेटर हेयर कट एंड माई लोकल सिलोन एंड लुक अप इज नंबर ऑन गूगल माई बिजनेस एंड कॉल दम अप और मे बी अगर मेरे पास व्हाट्सएप नंबर है यू नो आई माइट माइट व्हाट्सएप दैम द वॉज आई नीदर सेंड दम एन ई मेल क्या नीदर हेयर कट आई नीदर गो टू द वेबसाइट एंड यू नो चेक आउट की वो लोग क्या करते हैं तो वॉइस इज अ प्राइमरी मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन फॉर लोकल बिजनेस इज नंबर वन सेकेंड अभी जो आ रहा है इज व्हाट्सएप सो Like you're talking to your home chef, for example. I'm not just order based with the WhatsApp pe. Yeah, wo bhi aap then koi new offer hai koi restaurant pe. They don't send your email usually. 
you know, emails, at least for local businesses and small businesses, emails, at least in India, are not used. I also spent quite a long time in UK. Wapi or right, yeah, wapi phone or even WhatsApp is less used you know, because they're considered intrusive. They're considered probably personal things. Yapi, of course, you know, you can negate on that privacy thing, etc. At the end of the day, it's called WhatsApp. So, I don't want to solve this in India. I want to make a startup which is made for India. In India. So, I see call and WhatsApp here. We have incorporated call and WhatsApp in here. Call and WhatsApp here. We have incorporated call and WhatsApp in here. We have incorporated call and WhatsApp communication. Owner ko ek hi phone pe manage kare na ja, not only his, but his entire staffs. And he builds one, you know, one consistent database. Uske paas complete control ho apne business ka. Bas wahi build karna hai. Wahi dena hai usko hume. So that's what uh, that in India we don't give anyone any personal space. You're standing in line at the airport. The person behind you will make sure that his belly is touching your bag. So that is a novel thing. Be it on the street, be it on the road, be it on the phone. We don't have a concept of personal space, <laughs> and it gets pretty irritating, by the way. Yeah, we don't want to carry this space. So you know the positive way of looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Huh, I mean, there is obviously the positive because you're forming connections much quicker. The genuineness of it is much quicker. Like, you know, the other day I had to get in touch with somebody who had never spoken to anything and the person sitting in Ahmedabad randomly picked up the phone and called him and, you know, had a great, great conversation. Within five minutes, it was like five connections popped out. So that is something that can only happen on the phone. You can send someone a message, email, whatever you can do, it can't happen. So there are also a lot of positives. Hmm. हाँ, exactly. और और ये ना अभी you know हम you know हम UK US घूम के इंडिया आके ना हमें ये चीज realize हुआ है अभी सच में you know हम लोग imperfect हैं हम लोग जुगारो इंसान हैं but अभी हमारा ही decade है तो अगर हम लोग अभी कुछ कर रहे हैं ना इंडिया में एक तो इंडिया में there's so much of untapped you know opportunity in India when I talked about this ten crore for small businesses है बहुत ही कम percentage है जो सच में digitized है so if I'm giving them something, itna itna untapped potential hai. We talk, keep talking about the next billion rising. Five million, five hundred million internet users are coming newly in India. So ye jo numbers are the mind-boggling numbers hai. So even if I solve here, ha, yaha pe paying capacity thora lower hai. I'll have to design my prices accordingly. But there's so much to learn from the retail market. See how they have been able to sell in India. India ke decade hai, so imperfect hai, but you know somehow we are ruling so. Is working for us. Don't you think there's one issue? What? Why are Indians afraid of emails or text messages? Is because stuff is being recorded and it is official. You ne kaha tha yar, mere paas email badi hai, main dikha deta hu, mere paas email mein likha hai. Agar maine koi commitment email mein kar di, to uske baad main baad mein jaake yeh nahi keh sakta, nahi nahi yar, aise baat nahi hui thi. You ne aaj deal kari, deal mein you ne bola main yeh 2000 rupees ka lunga, aur fir. कल मैंने 2200 चार्ज किया और उसके बाद बात हुई कि तूने 2000 बोला था नहीं 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 यार 2200 बोला था तू भूल गया नहीं नहीं सुअग अग्री क्वेश्चन इस व्हेन आई एम यूजिंग हेयो एस एन आउटलेट फॉर माय कंपनी डस द पर्सन हु इज कॉलिंग द फोन नो दैट दे आर बीइंग रिकॉर्डेड डस � or do they just feel like they're calling on a regular call and they can say whatever? Are the calls being recorded or is just some data is coming that the phone number, the name, or is the entire call getting recorded? No, so like to, you know, uh, I'll just, just take a step back before answering this. So this concern, we have heard that no, the calls are recorded and that's the facility we offer the owners that, you know, so, uh, uh, so because it keeps a transcript of all the calls, including the staff, right? So he's able to manage and monitor all the calls, number one. Second, the calls also become like, you know, goes through a generative AI person so that they can be tagged. So that is how we kind of help him generate more insights about the customers or his requirements or even transcript, for example. So are, are you automatic for entry ho sakta hai CRM? So all of those things are there. Now to answer whether the end user knows, the end user is informed ki, you know, ye, uh, it's like when you call, right? That when you call a hospital or when you call, you know, a business, they say that your call may be recorded for quality or training purposes. But do businesses come back and tell us that we recording not Abhi recently, I say an example aya from my team. We were in Ludhiana recently, and there was this business. We said that we largely deal in cash. I don't want recording. So we're like, we don't selectively turn off. I mean, we, that's not something that we introduce as a feature because you know this is a this is a service that we offer you. 
so that you are able to manage you know manage all your customer interactions and manage all your staff interactions in one place but ha we wo request aane laga hai how will we deal with it we have not yet kind of decided from a product point of view बट ये ऐसे ना इंडिया में काफ़ी सारे इनफॉर्मल इकोनॉमी एग्जिस्ट करता है तो अब जब भी कोई प्रोडक्ट करते हो ना यहाँ पे इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू बिल्ड अ लीनियर प्रोडक्ट आई बिलीव इन इंडिया यू नो दैट वन साइज फिट्स ऑल सोल्यूशन आप यूएस और यूएस मार्केट्स में आप जाओ या यूके मार्केट में जाओ मॉरल एज ए कंसिस्टेंट डेमोग्राफी दिखेगा आपको यू सॉल्व यू बिल्ड समथिंग यू आर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम फॉर एटी परसेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन यहाँ पे ना यू दैट लीनियर अप्रोच इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट But there are so many sub use cases, or there's so much informality in the requirements that you always it's very difficult to find a one size fits all approach. We are kind of encountering those problems, and we're solving them as we go by making certain features optional, by making certain you know opting out of recording possible, by enabling you to say archive certain calls, etc. So we are dealing with those things, and we are also walking this line between you know government of India regulations and between what our customers want. At the end of the day, these are all, we are also governed by all the telecom regulations. The data preserve, we have to do. We have to keep records. 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 We have to keep records in which you can have two customers uh, like if in which you can have two seats on your CRM and then on a per seat basis they keep increasing $22 $22 per month and then if you want the CRM to look feel belong to your company then they charge you your you know they charge you your first one then they just go crazy they're like okay $20000 for the first consultant $20000 for the second consultant and then we'll charge you $500 an hour per person per uh, coder for the team right so i feel salesforce has hacked this pretty well and i feel that you might go in a very similar direction in the future so we might yeah we we probably will already a conversation on how we do a user base pricing so we will for sure for now the question is how has it been going how has your journey till now been how have businesses responded to you and what's happening now so you know i guess you know in terms of the traction that we have got um honestly speaking is more than what i expected in the first year so and i think we've like have one of the fastest raised to 1 million plus downloads we did that in under 6 months uh crossed and of course then there's a funnel that kicks in after that or so that 1 million plus downloads and this in about 2 lakh plus kyc is done so because you know of course because we give a number there's a kyc process and it kind of our legal my legal team will kill me they were like let product go grow to hell we cannot you know bypass any of the legal requirement which which is good you know so 2 2 lakh plus kycs have been done on the app uh which is the you know which is the number of my premium users and then there are free paid plans that have kicked in we are looking at you know kind of ending uh this year optimistically because there are more features and higher arpu plans being built in you know your user base pricing being one so we look looking at soon hitting the 1 million dollar usd in revenue which is a dream for all saas startups and i think especially commendable for something like heyo because we're not targeting mid market or enterprise at all there it is easier to make money you know because if you have a good product for enterprise you will get a share of the wallet will get a decent money but as monetizing smbs like even even you know like very good startups like khata books have also struggled how do you monetize smb it was a very very value conscious segment so once say you know extracting pricing out of it and you know monetizing that segment is a challenge i think that we have been able to uh solve to an extent of course you know there's obviously the journey has started and there's a long way to go but you know monetize having monetized this segment we're looking at now reaching that 1 million dollar usd arr revenue soon So, Rindim, what have what are some of the strategies? Let's say, what are three strategies that you have used in order to keep SMBs in mind and help monetize from SMBs? As you're saying, they're very price conscious. They're you know that very jugadu founder. Most of them are bootstrapped. Most of them, unka livelihood chalta hai thanks to their business. So, how have you managed to um, monetize them? What are the strategies that you use? How do you change the mindset? सो लाइक इन इंडिया अगेन मैं इस चीज के लिए बंदा रख लूंगा राइट मैं इस चीज के लिए बंदा रख लूंगा 
मैं पांच फोन नंबर रख लूंगा ये कुछ नया है मेरे को सीखना पड़ेगा यू नो मेरे को ये ऑन बोर्ड करना पड़ेगा ओ इसके पैसे लगेंगे मंथ बाय मंथ मेरे को पैसे नहीं देने हैं दिस माइंड सेट एग्जिस्ट एंड पीपल आर विलिंग टू पे फॉर अ न्यू पर्सन राधर देन पे फॉर अ न्यू एप विच इज विच इज क्रेजी इन माई माइंड बट इट इज देयर सो हाउ डू यू चेंज दैट अरे तो यहाँ पे ना लॉट्स ऑफ क्रेडिट गोस टू प्रोडक्ट टीम यू नो कैन ऑफ लेट बाय बाय को फाउंडर सीईओ अंकित वो प्रोडक्ट को तो अपने इतना सिंपल बना दिया है कि लर्निंग कर्व इज वेरी वेरी लो व्हिच व्हिच आई थिंक हैज वर्क यू नो बिकॉज़ सर इट्स बीन अ प्योर प्रोडक्ट लेट ग्रोथ वी डोंट हैव अ सेल्स टीम इट्स कंप्लीटली मार्केटिंग ड्रिवन सो वी हैड आवर ओन डाउट्स एंड आई हैड माय ओन डाउट्स यू नो इन द एसएमबी वर्ल्ड can we kind of make them change habit adopt a new hab- habit without really having a sales force in between but we have managed to do that largely we have got a very skeletal support team but us maybe you know i mean most of most 80% of our purchases happen without ever talking to support now the point is that the question that you asked us you know what are the strategies that we adopted to kind of make this happen one is that we we created very low barrier pricing models and our kind of the base plan and we kind of benchmarked it with a sim card right we saw how many are people are paying for a sim card so agar aapko aapke new staff rakh ke usko sim bhi dena hai how much will you end up spending so we benchmarked with that and kept the low price, the, the you know entry level pricing as low as that uh second is we have not you know that's why i said ki i call here as a smart number especially you know when i am talking to my target audience rather than even calling it a software i have not kind of sold it as a software आप सिम के लिए पैसे देते हो ये आपके यू नो दिमाग में रहता है कि आई हैव टू वट एवर हंड्रेड रुपीज टू हंड्रेड रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज आई हैव टू पे फॉर टेलीकॉम सर्विसेज सो वी हैव पोजिशन दिस एज अ नंबर एज एन एडिशनल नंबर एस एम बी सी आर एज एंड दैट काइंड ऑफ पोजिशनिंग एज लार्जली हेल्प बिकॉज इन दैट माई इन देयर माइंड दैट कोरिलेशन इज ऑलवेज देर वेन एवर यू टेक अ न्यू नंबर यू हैव टू एनी वे पे फॉर इट ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट एडवांटेजेज दैट दे हैव गॉड की उनको अलग सी सिम नहीं देना पड़ता he he doesn't have to give separate sim cards to his employees if he has to kind of um, make sure that all his employees are also receiving and making calls he doesn't have to pay for this small business owners are actually paranoid and and you know they have a justified reason to be paranoid they're not sure ki if the staff is taking their business away they're not sure ki agar calls are there miss ho rahe and they know nothing about it if databases are not with them then tomorrow if the staff leaves the database goes with them i think this because we are solving a very genuine pain pain point that these people face on a day to day basis we have been able to become a replacement of that you know sim card or the landline number that they were using so far i think our marketing line also helped so we you know the, the line that we have been kind of marketing this way with is aapka phone to smart hai aapka number smart hai kya to agar aap business khol hi rahe ho aap number le hi rahe ho to why take that number which is not you know जिस पे बस बस ओनली यू कैन रिसीव कॉल्स यू कैन नॉट यूनिफाई द डेटा बेस यू कैन नॉट रन व्हाट्सएप कैंपेन्स रैदर टेक अ स्मार्ट नंबर विच यूनिफाइज ऑल योर डेटा टुगेदर गिव्स यू कंट्रोल ओवर इट हेल्प यू मॉनिटर योर स्टाफ एंड देन फाइनली ऑल्सो कन्वर्ट दैट डेटा बेस इन टू समथिंग यूजफुल वेर यू कैन इवन री एनगेज योर कस्टमर्स कैन बी डाइव इन टू द्स एप कैंपेन आई एम वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग दैट इज वेल वॉट डज मीन Right, so the WhatsApp campaign ki features are also coming in apps. Me, you know, there have been certain features that are being built as we speak about it. So I'll explain a little about what we are trying to achieve here. So the first problem that we solved was his numbers, his phone numbers. Like all his customer phone numbers were scattered over multiple phone num phones, staff phones, on his phone. Now we are given him a unified database. That was the first problem we solved. Second is we are you know using AI to basically even tag conversations and build certain customer profiles for him. now the third thing is i have got a database i have got a decent start of a customer profile building now what can i do to say engage them further and get more business out of them so for example if i am a restaurant owner i got a database building up i also know which people or at rather my system knows which person you know regularly orders paneer pizza so the the logical thing to build on top of it is a whatsapp campaign layer which helps you kind of send out campaigns relevant targeted campaigns to your database uh, uh using that data uh, to to your database using that data so if i have today if i've got i'm offering a discount on paneer pizza then i'm going to prioritize the system is going to prioritize for me the people who have been regularly ordering it because we sare conversation and insights hamare paas rehte hai uh, order insights jo bhi whatsapp ya call ke through aaya hai hamare paas rehta hai so we able to build that profile like i said 
एंड देन रन कैंपेज ऑन टॉपर तो एक री कॉमर्स ऐसा हो जाता है तो द कस्टर तो इट्स नॉट दैट इज द फर्स्ट बिजनेस टू अ कस्टमर सॉरी फर्स्ट बिजनेस टू फर्स्ट बिजनेस फ्रॉम अ कस्टमर इज कमिंग टू यू थ्रू हे यू आर ऑल्सो एबल टू ब्रिंग इन रिपीट बिजनेस फ्रॉम दैट कस्टमर यूजिंग हे यू बाय रनिंग दोज कैंपेज बाई बेसिकली रीचिंग आउट टू हिम अगैन सो दैट इज वाई माई व्हाट्सएप लेयर कम्स इन एज अ री एंगेजमेंट लेयर Rimjim, how stringent are you about the business size that will work with you? Are you willing to work with larger businesses? CRM innately and working with clients innately is a problem in almost every business. Every business builds and every business sells, right? So I worked with a manufacturing company for a little while, and there a huge issue was this whole CRM thing, right? And they didn't know how to manage it. They got Oracle on board, got even more complicated, and then. the people under the ceo were unable to keep up with the sap products because you need special training for that he asked me that bro find me something where i can just like do what i'm doing i can just do whatsapps and i can just do phone calls and everything is just like taken care for me i am kind of tired with this whole thing it gets very daunting and me vishnu and i have faced the same problem so we have to deal with a lot of founders and a lot of different businesses and then we kind of lose track as well but all of it is on whatsapp so are you open to working with investment banks are you open to working with larger mnc's and uh, larger companies who are manufacturing and stuff? legacy businesses which are manufacturing but they're like obviously they're not small businesses but they're like massive businesses but they're very old honestly i don't think i will uh just heoka philosophy was clear eh कि वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो काइंड ऑफ कैपिट ऑफ एट टेन टू फिफ्टीन स्टाफ एंड आई टेल यू वाई आई डू हैव अ सोल्यूशन फॉर यू सो आई गोइंग टू टेक अ स्टेप बैक हेयर एंड यू नो कैंड गो बैक टू ऑन टू हाउ हेव स्टार्टेड सो हेव यू नो वॉज प्राइमरीली फाउंडेड बाई अंकित अंकित इज ऑल्सो द सी ई ओ ऑफ माई ऑपरेटर विच इज अ लार्जर सी पैस कंपनी विच वॉक्स विद लार्जर बिजनेस यू नो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनीज एमेज एक्सेट्रा आई जॉइन हिम लास्ट ईयर वैन ही वॉज यू co-found he was looking for a co-founder a growth co-founder for heo and we basically kind of took the learnings from my operator and rolled it out for a small to micro business heo doesn't you know we don't see it as you know growing do we see an enterprise version edition of heo maybe somewhere down the future you know where we can probably scale up some of these offerings for larger businesses but for very large businesses you know where when you talk about say uh, you know uh talk about large manufacturing house for example i mean because we already have a solution in the form of my operator which kind of caters which provides these solution but on a much larger scale number 1 number 2 i think heo at least you know my vision is we are going to largely focus on the local business economy here you know it could be when i even talk about an heo enterprise i could be connecting a chain of stores you know so uh and i could take heo for a single store or i could be owning a chain of salons say and i want to you know kind of centrally manage all of that so for the retail or the local business economy heo would be there but for larger manufacturers etc you know it would be something you know say the likes of my operator exotels are already solving it for them or you have got a zoho or a salesforce already solving it for them here i want to keep it more you know uh, kind of lightweight number 1 i want to keep it kind of focused on smaller teams and i want to keep it more kind of you know retail and local business focused because as of now i see in if you are kind of mixing up segments in the same product and you know, the product starts becoming too complicated the reason that heo has seen such a kind of popularity you know is because of its simplicity the moment i try to build more use cases on top of it it will probably become unusable by the very people we have initially built it for so as of now to my answer is no but as i said you know there are other products or other platform out there in the market which is solving it at a larger scale so just if i got it correct clearly for you the cap is not the company is making 1 lakh rupees 10 lakh rupees 1 crore 10 crore 100 crore it's the number of employees if i got that correctly so you're saying you want to keep it so even if a massive company came to you and they like we want something for, for 10 people which is our sales team you're open to working with those 10 people yes yes so as long as like i told you i want to solve a very specific set of use cases if those use cases are taking your boxes yeah. yeah let's let's go deeper into the use cases 
so company size matters more in terms of number of people than in terms of like you know monetarily ki company kitni valuable hai dekho ye bhi ho sakta hai so for example a large uh, a mid size insurance company jo group insurance deta hai they are using heo and they are using heo for us for for some of their field sales team तो ये लार्ज कंपनी के अंदर हम एक स्मॉल यूज केस सॉल्व कर रहे हैं इज डिवाइडेड इनटू स्मॉलर टीम्स एंड ही सी यू इज सॉल्विंग माय पर्पस बिकॉज़ आई वांट टू वही मेरा पर्पस आई वांट टू यू नो काइंड ऑफ टैक ऑल द कस्टमर एंगेजमेंट आई वांट टू मैनेज माय स्टाफ एक्सेट्रा तो वहां पे दे हैव फिटेड हियर एंड आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम टू दैट इट इज नॉट दैट आई डोंट आई एम नॉट ओपन टू सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर लार्जर कंपनीज बट लाइक ए टू थिंग्स वन इज स्टाफ you know ek to employee number or staff number because beyond the point it becomes difficult to say you know support it also on an app if you have like say hundreds of employees you would also want those clunky reports jo app pe deliver karna bhi difficult ho jata hai nahi nahi completely agreed i i'm not denying it one bit because i understand what your thought process is and i am resonating with the fact that you know you want to keep it for the smaller business but my i am going back to the manufacturing firm that like you know i'm just taking an example of a legacy manufacturing firm usko ye nahi chahiye ki uske 100 jan jo manufacturing kar rahe hain they come on heo he wants his sales team or his accounting team whatever it is which is 5 7 8 people it's not more than that vishud i feel other than other than the number of people it is the volume of calls so if it is going to be like you know i'm going to have 10 calls for one conversion and then over the year i just need like 30 40 conversions because what i sell is so expensive or because batch sizes are so large that my production caps out at 30 40 closes then i think you guys should be able to handle the volumes of calls etc so yes we are you know heo me hum log tap karte hain to a to an extent channel lines the channel because of the pricing that we you know offer it at Channel lines are capped, so the number of parallel calls that you can have. But I think more than anything else, now I would say that it's the kind of use cases that we are building here. Now there are two types of things that we're talking about here. When you have very high on call kind of businesses, now they tend to gear the kind of use case that you're geared to gearing towards is like a call center kind of a solution, where you have like you know call transfers, call merging, call masking. That there's, there's a whole lot of complexity that you're building on calls because in your handling heavy volumes of calls you are handling maybe you know certain seriousness of that call i am trying to build it for a local business this ka use case bahut simple hai uske paas calls pe you know he gets probably appointments on calls or he gets work he gets orders on calls he wants to manage those orders he wants to make sure ki uska track rahe and then he is able to build that database up and then using a combination of call and whatsapp he is able to try repeat commerce on that मेरा एक स्टेट लाइन यूज केस है ये थ्रू ही हो द मोमेंट टू गो थ्रू यू नो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लाइक कॉल वॉल्यूम्स लार्ज कॉल वॉल्यूम्स देन यू टॉकिंग अबाउट बिल्डिंग आई नो कंप्लीट कॉल सेंटर लाइक काइंड ऑफ अ सोल्यूशन विच से द एच डी एफ सी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नीड देर आई डोंट सी हेओ गोइंग देर आई सी हेओ बींग अ कन्वर्सेशन कॉमर्स काइंड ऑफ अ सोल्यूशन कि आपके कॉल्स पे ऑर्डर्स आते हैं आपके कॉल्स पे अपॉइंटमेंट्स आते हैं आई एम एबल टू काइंड ऑफ ट्रैक एंड टैक दो थिंग्स and i am then able to help you kind of build the database there and also write repeat commerce there so dono ka objective separate it's essentially it's a phone order like you know your customer management your appointment management ye sab ka hai aapka calendar wagera sab kuch sync ho ja raha hai aap apne nahi 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 us uske bahar order management bhi hai ki kitne ka aaya kitna aaya और ये इसकी हिस्ट्री है कि इसके साथ जब कॉल पे आया तब इतने का आया था और इतने का ऑर्डर आया या इतना ऑर्डर आया सो क्वांटिटी डिसएग्री विद यू वी नॉट रियली बिल्डिंग अ सीआरएम सीआरएम एज सच इट्स अ मिनी सीआरएम फॉर श्योर बिकॉज़ आपके डेटाबेस बन रहा है आई थिंक वी रादर कॉल इट अ कन्वर्सेशनल कॉमर्स प्लेटफार्म कि आपकी यूनिफाइड एक डेटाबेस बन रहा है यू नो यू नो एग्जैक्टली योर कस्टमर्स सर यू हैव अ ट्रैक ऑफ द इंटरेक्शन विद देम फॉर श्योर and then using a layer of whatsapp campaigns you are able to drive commerce out of the same thing so it more of a conversation management to commerce platform rather than a crm so crms again solve a whole lot of problem like a zoho for example wo aur bhi detail customer profiling deta hai email ke sath integrate karta hai there's a whole lot of things that they do we are very like you know aap aap calls or whatsapp pe aapki handle karte ho aaj is such that they are very fragmented they're all over the place i brought it in one place have it in one place manage entire call and whatsapp in one place and then drive commerce out of it so i think we are not see the the 
the reason the reason I I am like we're talking so much about this is because this is a problem that Akhil and I have faced. And as he said, like because Hamara ek to aise bhi, we are in different countries. So we are also not really, you know, in the same place talking to each other and all. So ek to hamare khud ke messages are, you know, in four different platforms. We have some messages here, some messages there. Something is on WhatsApp, something is on email, something is on Google like Drive, something is on something else. So we have our, between just the two of us, I'm not, here I'm not even bringing clients into this right now. Even between us, we have this. Then once we have like how we made a group with you. So we for each of our founders, we have these such groups. Now there are 50 of them. There are 6 months, 7 months, there are 50 of you know, exponentially, if we keep going, it's an it's a completely unsustainable model for the two of us because we will not have a way of keeping track. Kisme kya hua hai, kaisi baat hui hai, kaisa hua hai. We, you know, we're trying our best using calendar and this, that, and the other, but it's a lot of time that goes into just figuring stuff out. And I wouldn't call either of us non-tech savvy people. We're very good with our thing. We're we're happy using the phone and things like that. So it's not the it's not that taking understanding the tech is the time consuming thing is just the fact that we have to do so much with only 50 people so when this expands into 100 200 500 like it is a problem that we are going to be facing very very soon if not already right just go to an extent can solve your problem just think of an example of a recent example where a founder came to me very different use case from yours she is running, she along with her co-founder is running a cloud kitchen. Yeah. And they say that you know, both of us come to calls, aate hai, our orders come, I cannot keep a track of you know, who my customers are. They come to personal numbers, pe aate hai, so they get mixed up. So they finally ended up taking Heo, shared between her and his her co-founder. So they now get orders on one number. So they have one place on one database. They can also manage recording, so they can kya orders why wo bhi dekh sakte, and then they can also track that on WhatsApp. So it has kind of centralized the communication for them. So now instead of publishing her number, they publish the Heo number, so that you know, all the orders are on that number. So similar type ki use cases, na, like you know, ya restaurants so ya boutiques so ya salons so, jahan pe wo fragmentation jahan pe bhi problem banta hai na, because you have no idea. After personal number are published, like you are also saying, right? It gets mixed up with your rest of the personal communication. Here solves an important problem there by keeping it separate and keeping it all in one place. Now she and her co-founder are connected on one app. So usko alag se na re- usko bhejna nahi padta ki abhi ye order hai, now you look at it. Now because they are on the same app, they are able to look at it simultaneously. So these kind of small, small problems, you know, for a local business, Heo solves on a regular basis. Simjim, you use the word generative AI. And generative AI is the most buzzing of the buzzwords in the past one year. I want to understand your use of generative AI. And I'm sure it is to fill up your database. So I also wish to wish for you to break down the mega word that is database. What does it mean in your case? What is the kind of data that people are getting when you call when you say database? Because you're like, it is built for specific use case scenarios. So if for the people to understand, there is an Excel sheet on the top of the Excel sheet. There is name, phone number, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. So what would those columns? All right. So no, I think uh, some of it is built and some of it is being built. I'm just trying to think, you know, how much can I say at this day? Uh, we recently hired a very, very smart C2 again, uh, ex-founder, who is building more of these models for us. So there are two use cases that we see for generative AI in Heo. So one is a very interesting use case, something that I am personally very bullish on. You know, we'll see more of this emerging later this year. Is even like, you know, in helping when we talk about running WhatsApp campaigns, right? So we are using generative AI to even recommend campaigns that the users can run, number one. Number two is in terms of the data, right? It's more of a profiling or a or think of a word cloud. So I am a restaurant owner. You call me regularly. Your food habit is something that you know I'm able to kind of gaze through AI, or the, and even the frequency of it. So 
if you called me and said chicken butter masala on 50 calls visa we say you know um say alu alu saag alu only on 10 calls i know that you are a chicken butter but and the system knows so that you know that can also give intelligent campaign recommendations or discounts that can be pushed directly to you so one is this building this word cloud around my customer and second is even helping the customer to frame those messages to be sent out Uh, again, I say we are in a very rudimentary stage of this right now, and I think we'll see more and you know more and more things coming out. And because at the end of the day, right, you know, we kind of sitting on a wealth of information. So imagine the kind of data I have because potentially, for example, there is like ten thousand plus businesses in Delhi using Heo, local businesses. So potentially, Heo also knows that you know how many, uh, you know, whether more people in Delhi prefer a hair spa. or the prefer a hair color because the salons are all running or the daily stores are running so whether more people prefer surf excel or more people prefer ideal but this is also i'll say we are in a very starting stage right now when the 10000 becomes 50000 1 lakh 10 lakh 1 crore as the size of the data grows the system becomes also more intelligent so is it is not just able to make predictions for the business itself it's probably able to make predictions for delhi as a whole you know what are the people calling in local businesses actually preferring so there i think you know this this is a vision 3 to 5 years down the line that you know i'm able to kind of give a sitting in a space where it understands local consumer preferences also what are the use cases for that at this point i do not i not say i have the you know entire journey clear but we are already seeing the power of this data we are seeing the power of the insights that it is able to generate and using the responsibly i'm very sure that we can create value not just for individual businesses but for economies as a whole jim jim why are you the one solving this problem who are you um right so i it, it's pretty all over the place in the sense that you know being a good student you know uh, push to the engineering started computer science at jadavpur joined tcs like most people do because you know dad obviously thought that tata is where You know, Tata is is it's like the you know, especially you know the middle class Bengali's ultimate dream. If not government service, because my parents are progressive, so they were like, "No, government service, don't do it. Tata, go." TCS then you know stayed in UK for around six seven years. Studied at Imperial London and MBA drop out from there because then there was a you know kind of a family crisis back home. Came back, did my MBA finally from SP Jain here because Janik offered you know that op uh, the opportunity, but the opportunity did come, but you know there were things to take care of at home. and uh, of course that because i was always interested in you know kind of advertising creativity you know i i always had this confusion ki maths or english dono mein equally i was equally good at it but obviously you know uh, science or maths ko preference diya jata hai i also gave them precedence my parents gave them precedence so jab tab tab fir post mba then i kind of switched to advertising joined leo burnett for a while worked with the likes of sharukh khan etc because you know they were all our customers you know ki uh, KPC was a customer, so got a chance to work with Amitabh Bachchan, etc. Very different world from the world of coding, etc., which I had work, been working on so far. Uh, Leo Burnett, when I was there, I think that is where I, I guess entrepreneurial gene is something that was stoked by being in London. I essentially come from a business family. Business gene, thora you know, kind of latent hai, because my father's grandfather, rather my great grandfather, he was a businessman. I've often heard this story that he was the first person to build a sort of mall in Calcutta. उसका मॉल का नाम था शिल्पो मॉल एंड एक ही जगह में यू कैन ऑल्सो यू नो गेट योर क्लोज एज वेल एज योर डेली यूटेंसिल्स एवरीथिंग इनफैक्ट जो खादिम है ना पार्थ प्रतिम राय बर्मन इट इज ऑन माई फादर्स दे आर माई फादर सेकेंड कजन आई थिंक So there was a business gene, but it has definitely skipped my father's generation because my dad is a very respected doctor. He hates hates the word business. So when the moment I told him, "Kevin, I'm quitting and kind of going to be an entrepreneur," he was like, "Why? What was wrong with your job? Why don't you go back to UK? Papas jao, Tata me papas jao. Ye karo, wo karo." So he was like, "Kya aap agar saam hai?" I was like, "Aap bhi to aate ho na business family." He said, "Nahi, nahi, nahi. That is like one generation back. We are like now to all respectable doctors and engineers." But anyway, to kuch to kuch sa do gene ka na maybe some portion of it had kind of trickled down, skipped one generation and come to me. 
So uh, I started, I first started with a digital consulting company, this is back in 2015. I ran it for some time because just out of Leo Bunnet and I had a fairly strong network built up. So worked with with the likes of Imami Videocon, we worked with the likes of, you know, Vedad, which was an ex-Infosion's, ex-Infosion's founder, K. Dinesh's company that they were launching D2C at that point of a time. Ran this for about two years, 2018 May, I started a product company called Spotel.ai along with other co-founders because of course, you know, along with the creative gen, I did have that, you know, engineering gene. So I wanted to go and not just run a service company. We exited the service company. We got investors for Spotel and we basically convinced the investors to invest in us and also kind of buy out a stake in the services company. So got a decent exit there with that money we built up Spotel. Spotel was solving a very important problem. It was basically creating a, it basically created a platform which matched students and recent graduates with the right career paths. On the other hand, it showed companies the best campus, best students or the best talents coming out of campuses or early stage talents. Because we saw that there's a huge rush at you know at that in that kind of segment. As you grow up in your calendar, the, the, uh, in your career, the kind of crowd thins out. But imagine when you're a fresher, you know, you're kind of competing with lakhs of others. Beyond the IITs and the Jadapus and the NITs of the world, people really do not get a you know, very strong deal in campusing. We wanted to solve this problem. We wanted to make sure that people beyond the IITs are also getting the visibility. And on the other, way, on the other hand, we wanted to build a career predictor for these kids you know, in the first one to five years of their career. So they are able to build the right career path. This portal did, did re, uh, decently well. We reached at one point of time over 3,000 plus campuses. We used by companies including LNT, TCS, Virtuosa, to name a few. So largely we're solving for the engineering tech tech discipline. Uh, we raised multiple rounds of funding, like I already said, not just from people, not just from HNIs and Angel Investor in India, but also Silicon Valley largely. So, you know, people who are, CVPs or SVPs in companies like Google or Pinterest or Coupang, they packed us. 2020-2021, uh, we had really had a great run. We did hit some funding hurdles after that, which is when we decided to keep B2C. B2C was also a lot of cash burn because, you know, we were acquiring all these, you know, college rules, etc. And this this was a time of good, you know, cash, when cash burn was considered good. But we realized that, you know, because one round of funding got delayed and that we had run out of bit burn, bit actually burnt a huge lot of money. The traction was looking good, but you know the PNL could have definitely looked better. I also think that there's an issue with solving a problem for college students. The problem is they don't have money. Huh. When you start a resume service, you're starting a service for someone who is jobless. So the jobless person cannot pay you to build a resume. <laughs> so it's generally, you know, you get trapped in the hole. No money. So we had a huge user base, you know, 8 million se bhi upar user base tha. But as compared to that, the revenue, you know, never really took off to the extent that we had thought. Companies were paying us money for sure. That is where we decided to pivot to a B2B mode. And up to software, the because the platform that we had built up, you know, again, that was kind of recognized by NASCAR as one of the top AI innovations to come out of India. That, you know, that entire matching and, you know, assessment uh, platform that we had built up. So we, st we licensed that to companies like Deloitte. We also have... Um, we signed deals with a number of governments, you know, all the Northeastern governments started using us. This was also the time where the COVID waves were still running. So, you know, our virtual platform probably solved a lot of problems for them. So B2B, B said a B2C, B2C said a B2B pivot here because there are four co-founders. And we also looked at, you know, each of us getting at least some amount of exit. So I got a partial exit again, was fortunate enough to get a partial exit from one of our new investors who came in, you know, comes from a traditional background. But he wanted to leave a digital legacy for his children because he runs an export import business. He said, my children are not interested in it. I am investing in this because I want my son later to sit on the board, which was a good kind of exit for me to have. All four co-founders need to stay on board. Two of us kind of went out, two people, two, the two four co-founders stayed on to run the B2B operations. It is around this time that I met Ankit, who was running my operator at this stage. He said, I'm building something like Heo and I want someone to come on board with a both tech plus growth kind of a mindset. This is a, you know, it's a very challenging problem to solve. We're look, looking to solve that, you know, for 10 million plus Indian SMEs and eventually taking it global. Uh, having built Spotel, someone who, you know, who enjoys building for large TAMs, 
solving large scale problems i thought ki this is some this is a problem that has meet for sure again a very challenging problem again a very difficult to monetize segment but maybe there are some mistakes that i already learned from ankit himself had built up a bootstrap business his credentials were solid so i thought that you know why not and why not join him and you know work on here i think again solving a problem for smaller businesses is a problem because smaller businesses are still looking to save money in every avenue so you might have to go into a bigger space two people who have money to give to you <laughs> so that it's it's a very well renowned it's a chicken egg thing the smaller businesses have more scope to create more value but at the same time until that value is created they have very limited value to give you speaking of value and speaking of funding though we have the, we like to ask founders who come on the podcast this question so i'm going to ask you this as well if tomorrow someone was to give you 2 million dollars and invest 2 million dollars into heyo phone would you require that 2 million dollars how would you utilize that 2 million dollars what would you do with it so we have raised uh, you know we raised a smaller round anyway and yes i mean i'm going to we're looking at raising that 1 to 2 million dollars very soon because heyo ki i think the growth curve that we have right is is kind of uh so so exponential we need funds for building scaling of the infrastructure and you know building up the product at that level second i think because we talk i talked about the generative ai dreams right generative ai is a very you know it's a it's a very cost intensive uh resource intensive product to build it will give you returns over a longer period of time but that is where you know when sam management came and told in india that i don't see a lot of generative ai startups and there was a backlash that is what it meant you know because it needs a lot of money and you know a lot of resources to build i don't think that we are going to obviously you know i'm not i'm not talking about building an open ai here that is not the vision open ai has already built it we are talking about leveraging model like open ai or google's ai algorithms to build workflows for you know the small mean msme sector Now this kind of R and D does need an you know initial cost. This kind of R and D does need an initial investment, and that is where I think that investment would really come in useful to build this entire conversational commerce platform model. Uh, you know, because of the kind of co-founders that I've worked board, like I said, in Ankit has built a bootstrap business. I don't think that you know that monetization challenge or that growth challenge or profitable growth would be would become big problems. but there is an initial investment for sure required to kind of scale the product or scale the r&d to the level that the level that matches our vision there we will need the funds and you know there's kind of not two ways about it the funds would definitely make it much 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 easier i think uh, the ai being very expensive might be solved via the open source um people for example mistral has a model now it's uh, the mistral 7b so 8x 7b also mistral has a model called mistral 11b which is the 11 billion token model both of them are a hundredth of the cost of gpt 3.5 turbo or gpt 4 right so that that might solve the whole yeah the generative ai is super expensive for us to implement but then again who knows what happens in the future because even these guys are planning like gpt 4 turbo is fairly cheap and then they're planning the next one to be cheaper Who knows where the world is going? It's only been a year, and it's like next level. The world has changed. So, so AI, you know, that AI space still has a lot of churn. You know, a lot of things evolving there. Uh, I see. One thing I believe, right? You know, in Heo, we do have a competitive advantage in being a first mover. For us to sustain that advantage and to you know continue the innovation at this space, now this is where you know funding is required. So, there's a slightly. I'm not look. Being at funding year so much as growth capital, I'm looking at funding as my mode building or my innovation building capital. Uh, there is a there are certain things that have already been proved. There's monetization that has already been proved. Now, you know, how do I build a mode or the innovations very quickly on top of that to make sure that you know that 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 early mover advantage that I have, a I sustain that, b I sustain the initial you know that that. already the data layer that i managed to build i'm able to kind of build innovative ai applications on top of it can i do it without funds i'll probably take longer to get there 
but because given the rate of innovation, given the pace at which the entire world is moving, given the pace at which Indian economy is moving, I think this refraction is needed today rather than tomorrow. And and I think we are the best people to back here with you know uh, best people for investors to back here because we've already proved the first you know we have already crossed the first barrier. Then SMBs will not pay for software. We have proved that myth wrong. SMBs cannot be served with a you know with 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 a self serve app. We have proved that wrong. We have proved uh, we have proved that SMBs adopt a product that they find useful and there's a large enough time for it. Now we need to make sure that you know we kind of stay ahead of the curve, and that is where I think the investor money will help. Well, Jim, I have one more question for you. Sure. Given that you're a mom, given that you're a parent, and this was asked by one of our founders, but this was asked to the previous founder. But how are we are going to ask this question to you as well? What kind of profession are you going to push your kid into, given the AI revolution that is happening, and given the change? What should she study? So I am not going to push her into any profession. I have seen that uh, you know I guess our generation was different. Our parents were different, and I think we as well. I rather I want to think of that we as parents are quite you know open minded. I want her to choose. She already tells me that she you know she had hate to see us working so much. She just wants to be an artist, like I was telling you at the beginning of the podcast. So if she wants to be an artist, let her be that. I think the creator economy is kind of great uh, right now. If my you know if my kid is creative, if my daughter is creative, I just make sure that I'm removing the obstacles from her way. So AI, I believe that AI would make most jobs kind of replaceable, except for the super creative people. If she's kind of pursuing creativity as as a calling, then I think it makes me happy because I realize that you know creativity is one thing that. I don't see AI replacing, despite generative AI, despite generative AI claiming that yes, it is able to create. That creation is, you know, you 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 can understand that you compare a human to a bot creation, a human creation always stands out. I definitely, you know, kind of want to back our calling of being, you know, being creative or being an artist. Beyond that, I think I'd probably not give her too many suggestions. I don't want to. I I wouldn't want to do a repeat of what my dad did. कि बेटा इंजीनियर बनो बेटा जाके टाटा में काम करो आई डोंट वांट टू डू दैट सो रिमसिम होपफुली शी बिकम्स अ ग्रेट आर्टिस्ट मे बी शी बिकम्स अ पॉडकास्टर एंड मे बी वी कैन गेट हर ऑन आवर पॉडकास्ट 10 इयर्स डाउन द लाइन बट वी हैव अ ट्रेडिशन ऑन आवर पॉडकास्ट एंड जब द लास्ट फाउंडर हैज आस्क्ड यू अ क्वेश्चन एंड वी वुड लाइक यू टू लीव अ क्वेश्चन फॉर द नेक्स्ट फाउंडर सो द क्वेश्चन फॉर वी हैव फॉर यू इज इफ यू आर स्पिरिचुअल how has spirituality helped you in your journey and if you are not spiritual why are you not spiritual i am not spiritual i want to be but i am not uh which is strange because i come from a very spiritual family uh you know uh, we have got a temple my mom's side we have a temple we have got of a uh, very strong devotion on her side but i don't think the spirituality has never kind of seeped into me i'm very practical in some you know sense some sense of it i take things as they come and um, i'm not you know why i appreciate spiritualism i appreciate the power that spiritualism brings it is never never something that has kind of seeped into me i think because spiritualism is not something that you can adopt you know i have tried at times in bible because i see a certain calmness that my mamas have because very spiritual people very deeply philosophical people but that has always eluded me i am not calm i am very impatient i am i've always been kind of with though this over achieving go get get a ki ye karna hai wo karna etc etc as i grow older will i get spiritual or philosophical abhi tak to nahi hua hai if it has to happen it has to happen and i i, I realize that spiritualism you cannot just suddenly grow into spiritualism rather spiritualism somewhere will have to overpower you so far it has not what would be your question uh my question to the next founder is 